Hi, welcome to product tutorial by Robojax. In this video, we are going to learn about this W3230 thermostat controller. On the larger screen, click on this area of the player so you can see all the chapters. On your mobile device, you will see the menu. When you touch it, you see all the chapters and then click and touch to move to that section of the video. This is a thermostat controller that you can control heater or cooler and it has two screen and it can control up to 10 amperes. And let's have a look at the specs. So this can be used as a heater controller or as a cooler. This is the, the W3230 and also sometimes labeled as 3030. Uh, here they don't even mention the model so anybody can print anything but this is offered as a DC uh, 12 volts and also offered as AC 110 and to, up to 220 volts so this can work anywhere in the world when you connect it to AC if you buy the AC version. It can be used as a heater controller or as a cooler. In both cases you can control a refrigerator or air conditioner as long as it is within the load of this, load control of this, or you can control a heater. The sensor that we have, the prop, it can be immersed in liquid as well. The device has two displays. This will be red and this will be blue. This is the set temperature that you set and that is the current temperature that the sensor is sensing. And we have set uh, button and this is restart that's incorrect it's just turning on and off the screen but they just labeled it we have out when this light is on it shows that the load is being on and with these two you can go up and down i'm going to show you about the features and at the back we have four terminals they are labeled here if it is ac version 120 110 to 220 then you connect your ac here and these two are for switch where it will turn on and off put a screwdriver maybe push here or just pull it it will be removed this is the relay that is controlling your load and these are the terminals i do not trust this with 20 ampere but maybe 10 ampere but be very careful so we have these long push buttons and two displays and it looks like this. Let's open this one. This is for the AC version. You can now compare it. As you can see, we don't have this inductor here and this large capacitor where it receives the AC and there is a back converter this converter is supplying voltage to the microcontroller and for the relay from ac but the rest is exactly the same you see this is another voltage regulator which we don't have it here from this side it looks the same there is no difference Immerse it in water or liquid because it's all sealed so you don't worry and when I press and hold this it does not restart or anything it just turns off the screen they incorrectly labeled it as restart but for this this is the set temperature and that's, that's the temperature that is sensing so if I hold it with my finger Slowly, as you can see, this is increasing. Or if I, or if I just close, it, get it closer to my computer fan, you see the temperature is increasing. So these two buttons will not do anything. Press and hold this for about five seconds. As you will see P0, and it says C. That C means cool. 
If you don't touch it for five seconds, it will return back. The temperature for cool uh, or hot, you just press it short and then it will blink. When it, once it blinks, you can set your temperature. For example, now it is set for 30. Ooh, very quick. 32 degrees. And if you wait a few seconds, it will exit. Now it is set, and this is now the room temperature. It can be used as a heater control, so you have a temperature from this point, you always want to keep it above certain value. If you want to use it as a cooler, then you have a certain temperature and you, you want to always keep it below this. Let's say you want to control a fan or a refrigerator. So this will have from this point, always keep it below. For the specification, the temperature range that you can set and control is minus 55 to 120 degrees Celsius. A temperature resolution is 0 0.1 degrees Celsius from minus 9 to 99.9 .9 degrees. And beyond these values, it's one degree Celsius. Load control is with the relay can turn on and off at 20 ampere with 12 volts load, or 10 ampere with 120 or 220 volts load. As an example, if you have for the 12 volts 20 ampere, then 20 times 12, your load can be maximum of 240 watts. And for 10 ampere at 220 volts, so 10 times 220 is 2,200 watt load can be controlled or turned on and off. And 10 ampere for 120 volts in North America, for example, 10 times 120 is 1,200 watts. Now the temperature correction also can be done if by the time passes, it might be mm, deviating. So you can add or subtract up to 20 degrees Celsius. Uh, it has a delay start, uh, have a delay of up to 20 minutes, up to 10 minutes. And many people ask the question, when it turns off, does it keep the setting? Yes, it does keep, even if you keep it for months, turn it on back, the setting will be kept. Now it has uh, alarm temperature where it will stop working. If you set a certain temperature when it reaches, and beta lock, it has on and off, so you can not change it when you touch it. If you press and hold it, it just turns off the screen, but still it's functioning. Pressing it again, it will turn on, but to change some values or set it, just hold it for a few seconds, and it says P0. P0 is about cool and hot. The temperature for cool uh, or hot, you just press it short and then it will blink. When it, once it blinks, you can set your temperature. For example, now it is set for 30. Ooh, very quick. 32 degrees. And if you wait a few seconds, it will exit. Now it is set. It has functions, and we are going to talk about the functions. P0 or program 0 act as a heat and cool, and the default is cool or C. As you can see, if I hold it, P0, C. Now I can go up, hot, and uh, cold, so you can set that, which we are going to talk about. And now if I press this again, it goes to P1. And then P1 is a return temperature. When the temperature reaches a certain value, either as a heater or cooler, you can set it to uh, when it returns back. Return temperature difference. So you can set it. Now P1, if I press it again, that is P1. So two, two degrees, whatever number that you want the value. Otherwise, uh, 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 don't set it too close. So but I, I suggest to keep it always at least one degrees or higher. So that's the return. And P2 is, P2 is uh, setting maximum temperature. Sometimes you want to operate and you don't want to go maximum value. So this is 120. But if you're operating between 
uh, 30 to 40, set that value, and the same way P3 is for the minimum. So here you set your minimum temperature. Let's go and press it again, P1, P2, that is 120, and that's a maximum, and you can set that if you want, if you never work above 60, so let's just set it. and then press this P3 if I if you never go to negative then why keep it even let's say 10 degrees or whatever that you set 12 degrees so that was it and then P4 is the 4 is a temperature correction uh, you can set it the default is 0 with P4 you can set it you can change it So you can add or subtract so either negative or positive. I'm not doing anything. And then P5 is the delay start. Uh, and P5 is a delay start when you turn it, when it turns on uh, either as cooler or heater, you can set it. The default is zero. The delay start is P5, but before that, we have to say, look at the P1, which is the difference temperature. So press and hold us P0, P1. P1 is set for 2 degrees Celsius, 2 degrees difference, so 32 plus 2 would be 34. So this will turn off at 32, and uh, when this temperature reaches at 32, it will turn off, and it will turn on 32 plus that 2, so 34. Uh, let me test it. I'm holding this closer to a uh, heat source. Now pay attention, at 34 it will turn on. So 34 turned on. We, we got this and now it will turn off when it reaches 32. So let me cool it, cool it down by getting closer to this metal, copper. So it loses the temperature quickly. So 32, it turned off. So that was the normal operation. Now let's add the P5, which is a delay start. So let's go to P5, press and hold. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's 0. Let's just make it 1. One minute and exit. Now, remember it was turning on at uh, 34, 32 plus that difference, which was 34. Now I'm heating it up. As soon as it turned 34, I'm going to put the counter so you can see it. Let's see. Now, started. As long as I keep it above 34, that's fine. In one minute, it will turn on. So this is just for uh, protecting the compressor or something that temperature uh, fluctuates, it uh, protects it. It doesn't allow, uh, if the temperature goes up and down, to turn on and off. So it gives one minute delay, and you can set that to protect your devices. So I'm trying to keep it above 34. Let's see that one minute is how accurate it is. Let's see how accurate that one minute is. So turn on now and that was the time that it took for one. Now let's turn it off that delay. One, two, three, four, five and then zero means no delay. Let's set at P6. P6 is the alarm temperature that you can set so it can turn off the device or lock it. 
If you want to turn it off, just go above to the maximum and it will be turned off and at no temperature it will uh, set the alarm. Alarm is just setting this to turn off, I'm going to show you. And then P7, P7 is for data lock. Now if I go to P7, press and hold, and then once, twice, three, four, five, six, seven. Now this is off. If I select this to on, what it means is that now the temperature is locked, so you cannot change the temperature. Now let me exit, go to seven, and then now off, wait for it. If I go up and down, it doesn't work. If I press this button as well, P0, P1, none of them will work because this is now locked. Now if I press this, it is blinking and you can change it. So to prevent that, P7 is for that purpose, so you cannot change or set this temperature by one press. We can do factory reset at P8. If I set it on, it will be reset. It. So let's go. Now this was set, the value that we set, 32 and 2 minutes and 2 degrees Celsius. Hold this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. Let's turn it on and exit. You will see 888 eight, eight on the screen. So everything I've been reset, this is now 30, 28. That's one way. The other way is to just hold up and down and press it. Hold it, it resets immediately. And if I go back to P8, press and hold, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, it is off. After restart, the value will change back to off. For this demonstration, I'm going to use this AC bulb. This is a plug that will be connected to wall outlet and the light will be turned on. At uh, the middle, at this point, I have disconnected the wire, one of the wire, the live wire here, and I've twisted them and prepared them. These two uh, will be connected to the relay. Job of relay is to turn it on by connecting these two wires, turning on the light, and disconnecting it, turning it off. So this can be a bulb or a fan or any other load the same way the relay will connect it and disconnect it and the two wires that i've just shown you will be connected to these two terminals and here i have this, this bulb, I'm using it as heater or cooler to simplify the tutorial. Here, I prepared this AC wire that I'm going to connect to the power and, and it will be connected to these two terminals here. Now it is connected to AC and this is now turned on. So AC is connected, the power, this is just powering this device and your load, whatever it is, uh, for example, in my bulb or fan, so your bulb, fan, refrigerator, whatever you have will be connected in here. This white wire is just to power this and that's it. It doesn't go this way back. So you have to separately connect it as I shown. The same way with the AC, the bulb or load that you have will be turned on and off the same way as the DC. And here is an example, I'm using it as heater controller of a value that you want to keep above certain value. And in this case, let's say you want to get it uh, when it is below 32, it should uh, be on. So we want always above 32. In that case, we set the difference 
for example, two degrees, you can change it in P1 programming. And in this case, 32 minus 2 will be 30. So we have on at 30 degrees Celsius and off at 32. So this is our mean setting. This 2 is this value. Now, if I press this again, it goes to P1. And P1 is about... And P1 is a return temperature difference. Now P1, if I press it again, that is P1. So it's at least 1 degrees or higher. To, to change it, just press this button and go up and down to set this value. I'm setting it at 32. Just wait. And it is locked now. To set this as heater controller, press and hold. You see P, that's cool. Uh, go up, that's heat. And wait. This is now the room temperature from this sensor. Because we are below the sturdy, and the heater is now on. And when we heat it up at 32, it will turn off. It's 22, so the slide is on. And here is my heat gun. I'm going to heat this up. Pay attention that so uh, it will turn off at 32 when I blow up. Now let me turn it on so you will see it at 32 uh, the light turned off. Now it will turn on at 30 back. So let's just wait for this. And here is the bulb. I'm holding it so it can cool down quickly. So pay attention now at 30 it will turn on. We are very close. My hand. So 30, turn on. Now this is a heater heating up the room. Let me just keep this closer to this. So it's heating up at 32, it will turn off. To use it as a cooler, we want to keep the temperature below certain value. We don't uh, care how much below, but we don't want this one to heat up. So in this case, we have a on off temperature of 32. I'm setting it at 32, for example, at 32. Because the difference we have set to 2, then 32 plus 2, it will be 34. When it heats up at 34, it will turn on because of this 2. So we set 32, and that, then 2 plus 32 is 34. Now, if I press this again, it goes to P1, and P1 is about... And P1 is a return temperature difference. Now, if I press this again, it goes to P1, and P1 is about... And P1 is a return temperature difference. Now P1, if I press it again, that is P1. So it's at least 1 degrees or higher. Hold this and then go up. So now it's cool. The light turned off. Let's see why. Because we set it at 32 and the room is below 32, and so the 
cooler, this is our cooler or fan. The fan is not needed now. And it will turn on at 34. When the room becomes 34, when it becomes 34 degrees, it will turn on. Now, So 34, now the fan is on and it's cooling down the room. When it reaches at 32, it will turn off. So let me cool it down with my hand quickly. We'll just put it on the surface. It's very cool. Yet now it will turn off 32. So even the bulb is hot. Let's see. Yes, if I, if I hold it, I turn on, and if I cool it down. Thank you for watching. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how we can use this DEEK robot, DTS-1200 temperature. This is a device that you can set digitally the temperature and it will always keep it either by turning on a cooler or by turning on a heater so the temperature is within the range that you select how much it can deviate it operates either an ac version or dc version in this tutorial we are going to learn how we can use this fht 2000 temperature and humidity control where we can use it as a heater control uh, to keep the temperature above certain value or we can use it as a cooler control where we can use a refrigerator or cooling device that keeps it below certain value then we are going to use it as a dehumidifier we will set it such that the humidity is always below certain value and then we are going to use it as humidifier control where we can keep the humidity above certain value this is operating with ac version with external sensor i have separate video on the dc the link will be below this video